What's going guys? Today we'll go over a complicated looking circle question from section four. This question is meant to be one of the toughest question on the whole section because it's the last question on the multiple choice. But with the right method, this question can be solved within a matter of seconds very easily. So first I'll explain the fastest way to solve this question and then demonstrate how long it would actually take during the extra SAT. So let's get straight into it. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I've created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what's proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. Also, I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, let's get to the video. So the question says, which of the following equation describes a circle with radius of 10 that passes through the origin when graphed on the xy plane. So if we were to visualize what's going on here, we have a xy plane that looks something like this. And we also have a circle that goes through the origin. Okay, so the origin is going to be located right there, which means it's going to have a coordinate of zero, zero. And it also has a center in the center and has a radius of 10. And we're looking for the answer choices that correctly demonstrates what's going on here. So these are the two pieces of information that the question gives us, but let's go over each of them. So the first one is going to be the equation of a circle. Every single answer choice is in the equation of a circle form, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared, where this is the center, that's going to be the radius. And because our radius is 10, r squared should be 100. Right? And if you look at the choices, BCD has that right here, but A doesn't, which means A is not going to be our answer. And from the three choices, how can we tell which one's the correct one? Well, the correct equation should contain the point zero, zero. And how we can check whether it contains that point or not is by plugging in zero for X and zero for Y. If it does contain that point, then the equation should be equal to the right side. So let's try it out. When X is zero, it's going to be zero minus five, five squared plus zero plus Y, five squared. And that should equal 100, but five squared is 25 plus 25 is going to be 50. So 50 doesn't equal 100, which means choice B is the wrong equation and it doesn't contain this point. What about choice C? If it's zero, zero, that means it's going to be 10 squared plus 10 squared, which is going to be supposed to be 100, but 100 plus 100 is going to be 200. So choice C is also out. And choice D should be the answer, but let's plug it in just in case. If zero goes in there, you're gonna get minus five root two squared plus five root two squared. That should equal 100. And minus five root two squared is going to be 25 times two, which is going to be 50, plus 25 times two, which is going to be 50. When added up, we get 100, which matches up with our right side. The equation is true. Therefore, the equation contains zero, zero. So choice D is going to be the answer. So in order for you to solve this question the fastest way possible, you have to have a good understanding of the equation of a circle and a good understanding of functions so you can check whether this point is in these equations or not. So you always want to master the concepts first and then move on to the practices. Otherwise, you're going to have time issues and get a lower score. But with the right method, here's how long it would actually take during the SAT. So. The question says, which of the following equation describes a circle with radius of 10 passes through the origin when graphed in the xy plane? So radius of 10, choice A is gonna be out, goes through the origin, it's gonna be 25 plus 25, choice B is out, it's gonna be 100, 100, choice C is out, it's going to be D, but five or two squared, five or two squared, it's going to be 25 times two, which is 50, plus 50, which is going to be 100. Answer is going to be choice D. So that's going to be it. If you found this video helpful, give a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it, I'll see you in the next one.